Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch, and today we're going to be looking at an awesome, free, open source GD extension for Godot that I feel is one of the missing pieces. This is one of those things that should definitely be built into Godot, and after watching this video, let me know if you think the same. If this is functionality that should just be there out of the box. Now it is called Debug Draw, and the, the key of it is in the name, Debug. This is not something that's meant to be used in uh, your released or final code. This is meant to be helping you as you are visualizing things. Uh, if you want to say, um, you know, have some debug text up on screen without having to hit a breakpoint, or if you want to uh, be able to visualize your character's view frustrum uh, while you're running your game, you would use these to quickly draw things in the scene. You can see a number of different examples running right here. Almost all of the stuff you're seeing being generated here is being generated using debug draw. Let's go ahead and we'll run this one quickly. You get an idea of what this is all about. So you see all these various different pieces available uh, all around, so we can navigate around the world. So you can do things like draw these primitive shapes like boxes, uh, cylinders, uh, we, over here, we've got uh, paths. As you can see, you can change. So if you want to visualize, for example, your character's walking path through the world, you could do that. Or you can have uh, lines with arrows, trajectories, and so on. So if you want to see the way your character is viewing, etc. And here you can see uh, a leg test being done, and so on. So if you need to have these visualizations in your world, that is what this is all about. And it's all being implemented, again, using a C++-built GD uh, script that adds a couple of uh, singletons to the Godot game engine for this visualization. You can see examples of them right here in this example we are running. This example comes with it, by the way. It's available under uh, examples DD 3D, and this is the debug draw 3D demo scene. And you got an idea. So here you can see drawing 3D objects in the world, super simple. And then we've also got some things for doing 2D, which is mostly for text overlay stuff. So this is mostly about creating 3D things in the world. I'm going to show you exactly how this works. Come up over here and create a new scene, simple scene like so. We'll create a 3D scene, and all we're going to do is add a camera to it like so, and we'll back our camera up a little bit so it is looking at the origin. Now with that created, we're gonna go up here and we're gonna go ahead and add the, um, or sorry, add a script to this guy. So create a new script. Uh, so attach a script, um, my script. All right, and we'll create it. So we're using GDScript. By the way, you could also use C Sharp or potentially C++ calls as well. And what we're going to do, again, this is already being added to my engine. You do have to do a restart after you add the extension. So by the way, the extension is available this way. So basically, just come up here and do a debug draw, and you will find it right there. So basically, just click this guy here, and then download it, install it to your engine. That's it. So once you've done that, uh, again, back over here to our newly created script, and then we're going to do uh, an override of our say, funk uh, process, like so. And I'll show you a very simple example. So the first thing we're going to do is draw some 3D text in the world. So we're going to do uh, debug draw 3D dot draw text. So again, if you need to do some debugging, so we'll just do this right at the origin. So 0, 0, 0, like so, and then give it some text. All your base are belong to us. There you go. Straightforward and simple. So let's go ahead and see what this looks like. So let's create our new, okay, fine. And run it. Uh, and then fix my error. Vector three. All right, let's try that again. And here you see, boom, all your base are belong to us. That is 3D text in the world. If I move the camera around, it is basically there in space. So cool thing, uh, super simple to create something like this. Now let's go ahead and show you another usage. So let's come here and go debug, uh, draw 3D. And you're gonna see here, we got all these functions. Uh, so we've got uh, access align bounding box, arrows, arrowheads, boxes, camera frustrum, cylinders, gizmos, uh, lines, and so on. So a lot of times you're gonna have these values available for you know, your, your player character's access align bounding box. You can just pass this in as a parameter uh, to the AABB, for example, and you can render it and draw it around your character. Super simple way to add this debug uh, functionality. So here I'm going to just do an arrow. So let's go ahead here. Uh, this is going to be pointing at the origin. So vector three, uh, we want it to be just slightly above. So 0 0.01 on the Y, like so. So we got there, and then we're going to do another one, the tail of it, and then we'll do this slightly higher. 0 0.5 and 0. So this is going to be pointing down at our text. And then finally, let's actually add a color and we'll make that one blue. So if you need to add, again, debug details to your world, that is what this is all about. And I made an error again. I made the exact same error again. All right, let's try that again. And then boom, we got an arrow, a very odd arrow. Okay. 
Oh, let's move this out slightly. So I don't want to do a decimal dot five. I want to do five. All right, here we go. So there is our arrow pointing down at our all your base text. Again, super straightforward. Now say we need to do a line. We'll do the exact same thing. So we'll go debug draw uh, 3D dot draw line vector three. <laughs> uh, and then this will be minus one. So a little bit to the left uh, and then slightly down and there. All right, so then our second one, vector three. Uh, and then we'll make this to the right. Uh, and then again, slightly down and then there. So all aligned on the zero on the uh, Z axis. Uh, and let's make this one red. All right, there we go. So now we've drawn a line in the screen. And then boom, there's your line. There's your 3D text. There is an arrow. And then finally, let's just do a quick demonstration of the 2D functionality. Uh, again, this is mostly for sort of doing quick text draws on screen, but this is one of those things you do all the time, especially if you don't want to add a breakpoint, for example. And we'll do this one, just simple set text, and they'll do this one as uh, for great justice. All right, there we go. So super simple, straightforward, and let's go check that one out. And now you're going to notice here, all your bases are belong to us. For great justice. Okay, now you might notice, okay, that is definitely a little bit small. No worries about that. Uh, again, uh, this is state driven. We can go ahead and change whatever we wish at whatever time we wish. So down here, config, and then I come in here and go uh, default size, text default size, and we will make that one 42. We'll go ahead and run that, and there you see, boom, off you go. Another thing, again, I did say this was state driven. So if any time you want to go ahead and clear what you've already done, it's very simple. Debug, draw 2D, you will see clear all. And debug, draw 3D, clear all. Super, super simple, straightforward. So this is like, again, one of those things you use this kind of functionality all the time. And you can do this in Godot by building up primitives and setting things up or creating your own libraries, etc. But it's better to have someone else have done it for you, especially when they did it using uh, C++. It's accessible from GDScript, also from C Sharp. Uh, it is MIT licensed, so and it is updated quite frequently. So this one has a, it's at 1.5.1. Last update was on uh, May the 27th, so not that long ago. Uh, if you're interested in checking this one out, again, it is open source under the MIT license. It is available up on GitHub. If you like what he has done, drop him a star. As you can see, the last update was two weeks ago. Uh, just continuous updates. It's nice to see that for this. Uh, a very just straightforward and useful utility. It's one of those things. The only downside is, again, you have to install it. It's a GD extension. You need to add to your project, restart your project, etc. So for each new project you're working on, you'd have to bring this in. And that's kind of the challenge. By the way, full documentation is available here. Uh, walks you through everything that it does, everything that it's capable of, uh, the process of creating and building it, uh, all of the various different classes, what they do, the various different uh, settings that are available. Goes through the configuration and statistics stuff that I did not get into here as well, as well as the overarching manager that handles both of these classes. Um, so yeah, if you're interested, again, fully documented, constantly being updated, and it provides functionality that I think pretty much every Godot user could use at some point in time. This feels like one of those things, once again, it is is a missing piece in my opinion. It's something that should be built in, but I'm curious, what do you think? Would you use functionality like this? And if so, would you like to see this being just part of the core Godot experience? I know Unity has something like this, quick debug, draw routines. And again, my final warning, this is meant for debugging. This is meant for development work, not for shipping with your game. It's one of those things you definitely want to be aware of. These are not meant to be used in production or performance areas. These are meant for ease of use for developers, for visualizing their projects and so on, or quickly dumping text on screen, etc. And for that stuff, it is immaculately useful. So let me know what you think of Debug Draw as an extension for Godot. Do you think this should be built in or not? Let me know. Comments down below. I'll talk to you all later. Goodbye.